Wow, look at these drifts here. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Whoops. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are back in Tiny Sailor's World. See ya guys. Let's get into the video. All right, here we have the first ship we are taking a look at in the video. This is the Polaris. This is a fictional ship. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this moving. But first, we're gonna load it up with passengers. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna have the max amount of passengers and cargo for this voyage. So there we go. And we should be set. So yeah, let's go ahead and get moving. So let's go ahead and fire this up. There we go. So we're starting in Manila and we're gonna make our way probably to Southampton. So uh, yeah, I see Cherbourg there. So we'll go ahead and turn in that direction. You can see Tokyo, San Francisco, but uh, can't really see anything else right now. But uh, yeah, let's head for Cherbourg. Now, interestingly enough, this vessel brings up some nomadic vibes, especially with that hull and that upper superstructure that tapers inwards towards the top. But it's more of an ocean liner style version of the nomadic. So yeah, really cool. Looks like there is a shipwreck. Whoa, I think we just missed a torpedo there. Yeah, we definitely just missed a torpedo there. But there is a shipwreck. And I'm unsure what ship it is, but it looks like the Queen Elizabeth. So, uh, yeah, that is the Queen Elizabeth there. So it is rolled on its side, all sunken into the beach there. So, yeah, really interesting. It's definitely an interesting looking ocean liner. That hull is really interesting. It actually looks pretty nice as well. And, um, was that another torpedo in the distance? Maybe. I just saw an explosion back there. So, uh... Yeah. Now as we pass by the rocks heading towards Cherbourg and Southampton, you can see that our boat deck has lots of lifeboats as well as lots of windows. So yeah, not only will you be safe with all of those lifeboats, but you'll be able to clearly see where the lifeboats are and uh, where the exits are to get to those lifeboats just in case we start sinking. So yeah, we should be pretty much all good. Here's a really cool view. You can see some land in the distance as we pass by and you can see the sun is beginning to set, I believe. Yeah, the sun is setting there. But um, yeah, really nice day in Tiny Sailor's World has come to an end. And now we are going to be uh, basically consumed by the darkness for a little bit. And you can see Cherbourg just in the distance there. We are also getting rocked by these massive waves from this storm that's just blown in. But uh, yeah, let's hope the Polaris can actually hold up. Well, we're definitely nearing Cherbourg now, but uh, the storm is not leaving us. It is still pretty violent here, and the ship is just continuing to roll as well. And one thing I'm noticing, I have to continuously turn the ship because the waves are actually pushing the ship off course. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a struggle trying to keep the ship going straight towards Cherbourg. So, yeah. Now, luckily, we haven't run into anything pretty major. I mean, this storm is pretty crazy, but we're not sinking. So, yeah, we're pretty much okay at this point. And here we are in Cherbourg. We have made it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and obviously offload our passengers and then make our way to Southampton. So, yeah, and it looks like the storm has just broken free. So now we are in some calmer waters. Let's load up with just a thousand passengers and about 20 cargo because let's say we offloaded some passengers in Cherbourg. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and make our way to Southampton. Now as the sun slowly begins to break over the horizon, we get a better view of the ship here. So we've been sailing for about two days now and um yeah it's been pretty good so far we did have a storm but um yeah ever since then we've been uh, smooth sailing so yeah well the sun is now greeting us on this wonderful morning in tiny sailors world as we pull into southampton harbor and as you can see there's an oil rig on fire to greet us as well so Thank you very much. What a beautiful view of the Polaris coming into Southampton here with those Cunard funnels and that White Star Line hull there. Yeah, very interesting combination, but I quite like it. It's quite interesting, but um, here we go. We're making our way into Southampton, and yeah, here we go. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we've just... Oh, we're sinking. We are sinking. We've just struck a mine outside of Southampton Harbor. We are going down very quickly here. We've lost almost two decks there above the waterline. And we are sinking. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. Um, unfortunately, we're not in super, super shallow water, but we are in shallow water for larger ships. But we're going to head to the bottom here, folks. It is the end for the Polaris. We were just about to complete our journey, and unfortunately, we have not. Now, we do have 672 passengers aboard, and they are evacuating off the ship. So, yeah. Wow, that is so unfortunate. We were so close to getting into Southampton, but nope. We have struck a mine and are sinking. Oh, no, and the weather is not helping out as well. We still have around 560 passengers aboard. And the ship is still going down here. Luckily, or hopefully, we get everyone off in time. Well, that is just tragic. As you can see, the bridge is getting consumed by the waves there as the ship goes down. Now, um, yeah, there she goes. She's sinking to the bottom. There goes the first funnel there. And, um, yeah, she is going right to the bottom now. There are still 400 passengers on board this ship. There's no more time to get them off in lifeboats and they're now jumping off the stern or jumping into the water and there she goes to the bottom so she sank with 400 or so people on board so um yeah very unfortunate well here you can see the wreck of the polaris and uh there is a funnel there but um yeah there she is sitting at the bottom so yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next ship now people have been asking me to make the ss gillette 2 so, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Here we have the Andre Doria. I think it looks amazing. And this is the base ship we are going to use to create the SS Gillette 2. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and click ship options here. And yeah, so let's go ahead and start altering the hull here. Alright, so this is the color that I'm choosing for the hull. Like it or not like it, I like it. It's a little interesting. It deviates from the traditional black hull or the white hulls for cruise ships so yeah i'm kind of liking this color here so we're going to go ahead and move on from the main hull to the superstructure and i'm actually going to keep that white and now we're going to move on to the funnel all right so this color here looks pretty good for the funnel as you can see it's a bit of a gold color but what we're going to do is also change the material as well all right, so where is the metal here? Let's take a look. Let's see. Here we go. There's metal. All right, perfect. So there we have the metal there. Now all we have to do is adjust the top color. Funnel top, all we have to do is bring all of this to zero. So zero there, zero there, and zero there. Okay, cool. All right, so the last thing to do is to name the ship. So MV... Gillette, and then we'll use two eyes for Roman numeral two. So there we go. Then we will do the Gillette line, and we will do Mega Class and uh, Ocean, I guess. Okay, there we go. Now we are all set to go. We got the MV Gillette two, which is pretty much just a repaint of the Andrea Doria. And yeah, so let's get moving here. To begin our celebratory first voyage, we are wrapping around the Southampton Island, and then we will shoot off for New York. So yeah, and there's the ship proudly displaying the MV Gillette 2 name, and we are about to crash into a dock, so let's not do that. Oh, look at that, there is the Queen Mary 2. We will pass by them here, so uh, yeah. Well, they're on fire and they're sinking so that's wonderful oh look at that there's another ship as well what ship is that while well, we start drifting here oh my gosh um wow look at these drifts here oh my gosh oh oh whoops i may have taken on just a little bit of damage and it seems to be getting worse all right with a little bit of magic we are all fixed up and moving at a speed of 23 knots much quicker than our 15 but um yeah well it is now four in the morning as we make our way towards new york city and um yeah the sun should be coming up 
very, very soon. So then we'll have a glorious view on our wonderful ship here. So yeah, we are making great time. At a speed of 23 knots, we will be at New York in roughly a few hours. So yeah, we are getting very close. And here we have the sunrise on this wonderful morning, and we get to see the MV Gillette 2 with its slightly blue hull and yellow and black funnel. So, yeah, very cool. Passengers are really enjoying their time aboard the MV Gillette 2 as well. I mean, this is the second ship in the fleet, the first being a steamship and now the second being a motor vessel. But as you can see, we are really close to land here, so let's turn the ship a little bit. Well, that is a main sign that we are entering New York here. You can see there's the massive island there. And yeah, we are about to enter the actual harbor itself very soon. Well, we've done it. The MV Gillette 2 has made it to New York City and uh, without any incident, minus that one thing with the Lusitania, but uh, yeah, we won't count that. So yeah, here we are. There's actually a few ships popping up around here as well. You got Tyrannic, you got the Queen Mary 2 just there as well, and the SS United States. So. Yeah, a lot of ships spawning in here, so that's really cool. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, turn the ship around, and then sink it in the harbor. The MV Gillette 2 did really well for its first voyage, so yeah. Alright, so we're making our way back around to sink the vessel. Now, I do have to get rid of the passengers, so that's one of the main reasons why I'm coming back here. So, yeah, let's go around the stern of the Queen Mary 2 here, and um... Yeah, then we will head to the Statue of Liberty, and it should... There we go. Yeah, I was about to say it was about to drop off the uh, the passengers there. But yeah, now we can go ahead and sink the vessel. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and sink here. Now, we can go ahead and sink by simulation, but this time we're going to go ahead and sink by fire with slow selected. So here we go. The MV Gillette 2 is beginning to go down. So um, yeah. It was a really nice ship, but, uh, sadly, it has to burn. So, um, yeah, as you can see, lifeboats are attempting to get away, and the ship is going down very quickly. Well, our bow is now awash as the ship goes down. You can see the nameplate there just slipping under the waves, and you can see it underwater there as the lifeboat passes overhead. So, yeah, the MV Gillette 2 is going right to the bottom on fire, and yeah, this is the end for the vessel. As you can see, it is now beginning to plunge under the waves, so I'm going to go ahead, abandon ship there, and there it goes as it sinks to the bottom. Oh, there goes the funnel, and the power is beginning to fail. And yeah, she is about to right herself, or basically go vertical, I mean, and drop below the waves. Underwater, this is a really cool view as well. You can see the whole ship just beginning to sink under. Well, that's not really a cool view there, but yeah. Was a cool view. Now, there's a cool view as it goes to the bottom. So, yeah. Well, this is it for the MV Gillette 2. It is going to the bottom and pretty quick as well. And you can see the Mauritania has just arrived, as well as the Edmund Fitzgerald. So, yeah, and there it goes, slipping underneath the waves for the last time. The MV Gillette 2 goes under and the fire goes out as well and you can see the nameplate on the stern is just about to get covered by a wave and there it goes the mv gillette 2 has sunk now following the ship down you can see we have the funnel that has crashed into the bottom but uh here comes the ship itself as it makes its way to the bottom here and it's about to hit and we'll see what happens here there goes all of the engine parts and she rolls on her side. So, yeah, there is the wreck of the MV Gillette 2. Alright guys, if you're interested, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.